kittens like this wig? I do. And I think you might too. So let's talk about it. Okay, kittens, it's PC Purrs. You already know who it is. And this wig that I've got for you today is from Rihanna. And it came with this instruction card and also this wig cap. That's my shade. I'm really feeling that. And it is an old scout top wig, so it's got a little bit of parting. It looks good. Let's put it on. And you can see that the bang is super duper long. But, I mean, you know what? Me likey. I like it a lot. And I'll tell you why. It feels really nice. The density is good. It's not too heavy, not too thick, not too thin. And we can customize this bang. So, let's do that. First thing I'm going to do is I am going to separate this bang in layers and section it off. So, I'm just going to find where the track is and make sure it's even. And then the hair that I pull up, I'm just going to section it off and clip it out the way. So after I've got that first one, I'm going to make another layer. And again, I'm just fine in the track. You'll be able to see it. And then I'll just pin that hair out the way. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to gather the hair and pull my fingers across at the same level. And then I'm going to twist my fingers, replace with my other fingers in the same position and keep twisting a few times. And I'm going to choose between my eyes, like at the top, bridge part of my nose and then cut across, straight across. And it's gonna give me this angled look that's a little bit shorter in the center and then it's gonna angle down longer on the sides. And so it's still really long, I'm cutting for safety, but now that I'm comfortable, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do it again. So fingers straight across, twist, stacking my fingers at the same level, you don't wanna be at an angle, and then cut straight across. So it's still a little long, but I'm going to go with this for now. We can always cut more later. So then I'm going to pull down my next layer, make sure it's perfect. And we know it is because we've got that track there. Pin that hair out the way. And then I'm going to cut at an angle. So I'll find the center part and slant my fingers at the angle that the shorter pieces of hair are. And then you can just cut across. This side you can see a little bit better. So I'll find where the short piece is, angle my fingers so that everything measures up and cut the hair that's longer. Going in and tidying that up. And you can see it's all matching up. I'm liking how the density is looking, so I'm just gonna go in with that first method again. Twist, 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 and then snip. Okay, so then after this, we've got our last layer on the top. You wanna keep replacing your fingers at the same angle. You might need to go slower than I am. I'm just comfortable at this point. And that's why it's good to go in steps. Snip it across. And then after this, we need to do some face framing layers. Okay, so we've taken the hair down, got the bang pretty much how we want it. And so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna section off this front piece of hair that would kind of be like my edges. And then I'm gonna find where that shortest piece is coming from the bangs. And that's where I'm gonna start angling down with my scissors. And you really don't wanna take a stabbing motion. You want the scissors to glide, but my scissors aren't that sharp anymore. So even though it looks like I'm stabbing, that's not what you wanna do. That's not really what it feels like to my scissors. And I'm taking a very little bit off at a time. So keep that in mind. also got to do it on the other side. So just checking that hair off, find the short piece, which is the end of the bang, and go from there. It's about where my cheekbones are. Next, I'm going to take a section higher up than my ear. And what I did is I'm still going by that shortest piece guy, but I'm pulling the hair away from my face and just adding in a few more layers. And then I'm gonna do that one more time, another piece a little bit higher. I'm still going by that same shortest piece though, which is the end of the bang and slicing down. And you can see I'm only taking off a little bit of hair. Keep fluffing it to see if it's layering the way you like. 
And I'm like, all right, not bad. And then you know what we do on one side, we've got to do on the other. So you just see me taking the shortest piece and going down. Again. Keep fluffing, keep checking it. And here I'm just adding in a little more from the front edges. Okay, that's feeling pretty good. So now I'm gonna split the hair in the middle and then I'm gonna pull all the hair, comb all the hair to the front. And then whatever is not mashing up, I'm gonna snip that. And this is pretty even and full toward the ends, which I really appreciate. That's rare in a wig. So that's another positive for this wig. I'm also gonna section off some hair on the top of the head, pull it up and snip it straight across. There we go. And that is pretty much all that I am going to do to this. I'm just gonna wash it and let it air dry and we will go from there. But we know she holds a curl. Overall, I'm loving this wig in terms of easiness. This wig is a throw on and go. All I did was just sew the straps down on the inside and what else did I do? Cut the bang because it comes too long so that you can customize it. And other than that, I washed it. This is how it looks. I didn't put any product in it. I just flat ironed the bang, gave it a little bump. It's still like really curly right now, but that'll drop some. And I just left the hair alone, and I like that because, you know, if you start sweating, this is what it's going to dry like. This is just, it is what it is. It's not too thick, but it's not thin. Like, this is a great density. It's lightweight, but it still looks nice and full. I really like this body wave texture. The length, I feel like, is very true to form. I didn't have to cut a lot at all. Um, definitely going to keep buying more wigs from this brand because I've got two from them already and I think they're great, 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 super easy, super save your edges friendly. There's no need for all this lace and stuff, you know, because we're not gluing this stuff down in our scalp and snatching it and being bald in 2023. We don't need to do all that. So let me know how you feel about this brand. Um, <laughs> to me, this is a slay. I'm loving the Betty Page look that works for me as my sex kitten look. Um, I keep wanting to do color, but uh, I really like the dark black. But I'm getting my size myself. I will see you guys for the next one. Bye.